good morning you guys and welcome back to crystal vlogs it is currently 5 12 in the morning told you guys i get up super early normally i get up at 4 4 30 and start reading out the bible and i be in the bible for like two hours that's what really why my videos be going over time and don't be posted exactly at seven so i put between seven and eight and sometimes they come after eight o'clock i really cannot put time on god and the holy spirit when i'm reading because if it's a message for me best believe i'm going to be in the word and i'm not going to come out the word until god release me to come out so with that being said make sure you like comment and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload another video Yes, I just woke up. I did wash my face, but however, if you wash your face one time, sleep still cracks in, but who cares? We about to serve the Lord. We about to get the word. I'm about to minister to some people. Some people going to receive it. Some people's not. Face looking pale, but everything okay. We are up. We are alive. We are breathing. So let's get into the daily word. Let's go, you guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Father God, I come to you as humble as I am and ask you to give me the encouragement and the wisdom to deliver the word and minister to these people of your will, Jesus, not my will, your will. Through the Holy Spirit and nothing but the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We are going to be talking about ways to use your words. Positive ways to use your words. Ways of using negative words and how that can do. So this is going to be a positive thing and a negative thing that has to do with our words. And I am the right person to talk about this for all the people that know me and my family, they can vouch. I am the person to talk about these things that we have been talking about because I have endured these things throughout my entire life. So from Proverbs uh, chapter 25, verse 11, it says, A word filthy spoken and in due season is like apples of gold in settings of silver. Have you ever known that when you say, I'm sorry, I always scratch because my port is right here. For some of y'all know when I have on a tank top, y'all can see that scar. That's where my port is and it, it does itch. Um, have you noticed in life when you speak positive to someone or say something positive, be like, uh, I'm going to just use myself for example. I'm talking to myself. Hey, Crystal, you know what? Your hair really looks beautiful today. Or your eyelashes look beautiful today. Not to hype them up, but to be a, a serious and genuine, truthful and factual, for my smarty pants, compliment about someone. You never know why somebody did their hair, dressed their hair up, dressed their clothes up, put on eyelashes, put on makeup. You don't know why these people are putting these things on. You don't know why they feel a certain way to pull these things off. You never know what's going through their mind. So when you give them a compliment, it makes them feel special, happy, thankful, and blessed. Amen. Also, our words can also belittle somebody, and we have talked about that. You could tell somebody, oh, that do not look good on you. Oh, she got on too much makeup. Why she got them big old eyelashes on? You could barely see her eyes. Now that right there. We're not going to do that. We're not going to have that. Mm -mm. 
Because we too grown over here and we too blessed over here. Amen? We not going to do that. I'm looking for my whites, you guys. Sleep be trying to crap back in, but it better go. We not going to have it. We not going to say um, negative things to people. However, we may think them. We're not going to say, we're not going to say all that. And if y'all wonder why I got this jacket on in the house, because I be having on night clothes and it be four something and five something in the morning. I'm not finna get up and put on no clothes just to do no video. Okay? So I got tired of throwing on shirts and I'm like, no. I'm not for to keep, yeah, I bathed the night before, but I'm not for to keep getting up, uh, changing my clothes to shoot no video. So, I'm just going to put this jacket on and y'all can't even see what's up on here. I had to throw that out, out there, you guys, because some, some people be curious and ask, uh, how should I say this? Not going to say a bad word. I'm just going to say some people be curious, but it may come off to me as a stupid question. Okay. Moving along. In Philippines, Philippines uh, chapter, chapter 1, 11, verse 3, 3 I it think says, my God, every time I remember you. I think my God, just call every time I remember image. you. Of the loved just ones calling and the to apostle mind, mind to the image of God. these loved ones gave the apostle and reason to be careful of again. God. And we can do the same. After thanking God for these precious people, we can use our words to thank them directly, verbally, or in writing. It really doesn't take that much time to briefly step out of your daily routine and devote a moment or two of shooting an email, making a phone call, or even sending a handwriting note to someone about whom we would say, I thank my God every time I remember you. Expressing gratitude brings contentment, and contentment brings peace. Peace and knowing of God fits together all the pieces of our life to make us who we are today. Amen. And I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. That saying, you want to thank God. You want to, I'm looking for my glasses, y'all. I can't see nothing. And I don't have notes, so I'm just going after the word. You want to thank God and everything that you do. You want to thank God for providing you with the knowledge to deliver to another person. However, God don't want you to use no negativity to deliver to another person because it's just not right you guys and you never know what someone is going through when you're not bad signals and being dishonest and untruthful to people and non-factual it can be even be factual and still hurt somebody however we need to know how to talk to people with our words and use our words wisely y'all gonna see me picking at my face a lot because I just woke up and I'd be a little irritated in the morning. But um, you just want to pick your words wisely when talking to somebody. You don't know if you come in contact with somebody who's struggling with the enemy. They can be thinking about killing themselves. They can be thinking about killing their children. They can be thinking about so many things. And you, old little saint, come along. And you say the last little word to these people that may take them out. Shame on you if something happened to them for you saying those type of things to them. You don't know what's going on in someone's mindset at that moment, at that time that you speak to them. 
So we all always, I don't know what's wrong with my mouth this morning. We always want to make sure that we are flourishing out positively in godly words. Amen. And I'm going to read from the book again. There are some love prompts in here. And it says, got a minute, grab your pen, use these prompts to get you started on jotting notes or emails or text loved ones in your life. For some, the statement stands alone. For others, elaborate on the thoughts it's giving. Your words are sure to be blessed, your recipient, meaning the person whoever reads this gets this message. Five powerful phrases to speak to your child. Oh, I'm going to read all these to you guys. I'm going to start at the beginning. One, two, three, four. It's four of them. A way to speak to your spouse. A way to speak to your child. A way to speak to your parent. A way to speak to your friend. And I think this will help us and guide us a little bit more. Because yesterday we was talking about being angry. And some of my um beautiful babes are liberated on a little bit of a past that you know past situation that have made angered them and what they said and how they handled what they went through or whatever so maybe this can help us as well so it said I'm just going to take a prompt from each section and give you an example so let's say let's use being your wife has taught me i would say being your wife has taught me to be more supportive and appreciate of my husband to really listen to the things that he's saying and not always me talking 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 over him and not giving him a chance to fully speak on things of how he feel and what he want to do it doesn't always have to be my way it can be his way and my way we need to sit down and talk about these things and then I'm going to pull one from Speak to Your Child. Excuse me, y'all. My nose is doing the most. Being your mom has taught me that we need to respect our children as well as the children respecting us. We cannot be out here jumping on our children and calling them out their name when we get so frustrated and so angry. Like the saying said, count to three, stop and pray. Paul, stop and pray. And from five power phrases to speak to your parents, I use I admire your strength because I love my mom to death. I wouldn't trade her for anything. I admire my mom's strength. I am just like my mother, if anyone doesn't know. I follow my mom's uh, footsteps in the hotel industry. My sister did as well. And I really growth when I went through hospitality industry. I learned so much from that. And it really taught me about business and how to manage a lot of things. That's why I am very stern, very firm. And very upfront with handling different types of situations because I have worked with so many people and so many different personalities. And I just admire the strength of my mother because with seeing your mom doing that and then I did the same thing, you know, it's kind of good that you both like, dang, I did the same thing my mama did. Me and my mom went through this same Thing and just prosper out through it and I'm just thankful and admire my mom for being a godly woman that she is being a strong mother that she is raising me my brother and my other two sisters after you know being separated from my late father in Jesus name we pray amen and I mean my mom was still was up there doing what she needed to do providing for our family although my father was still there in our lives my father did not leave us. He was in all of our lives, even my baby sister lives, who is not biological father. But not to get off task, my mom is just very strong in every department. She wears so many hats. And that led to me 
wearing so many hats. That's why my channel is not based off of one niche. I'm a multitasker. I can do numerous of things, and I'm going to show you guys. You guys can see this through my videos, through my channel. I'm showing you my lifestyle. Some people are really scared to branch out. And that's what we need to do. We need to branch out. You don't want to sit up and just be stuck in one place. Don't be that 360. And I talked to you guys about that 360 in here. Don't be that 360 where you're constantly doing the same thing. Hey, you did this same thing last year. You hung out with these same people last year or the year before doing the same thing, never prospering and getting nowhere. You're repeating a cycle. We don't want to do that. Amen. We want to continue to prosper and grow and flourish out in the world and find new and positive things to endure throughout life so we can be great. Amen. So when it comes to my mom, I could speak on a lot. I love my mom to death. I could speak on a lot about my dad too, but my dad passed in 2013. And when I talk about, he died from cancer. When I talk about him, I really get upset. Um, I haven't really had the time to really get over it. And I, they're just something that I'm struggling with throughout my life. But uh, let's go to five power phrases to speak uh to your friend now i can talk about long time friends i don't have no friends now <laughs> i'm grown i don't need no friends my children are my friends if i want somebody to play with i can play with them but let's see which one i want to take from here Oh, I could t talk about one. The best time I ever had with you was when... <laughs> I'm not going to say this person's name, but if they know them, hey, drop it in the comments or messenger me or whatever. And now this was when we were little now. We was about in our teenage years. I'm not going to give y'all exact. And we were pitting our sins. We grown now. But one of the best times I can remember, and I always talk about this with my kids, you know, when you are grown, you start talking about stuff that you did back in the days. So one of the best times I had was, and y'all not going to believe it, don't be judging me on this. Me and my friend had went to, we had a store, it used to call it a $7 store. We went in the $7 store, you guys. We went in there and stole clothes. So we went in the seven dollar store, went in there and picked out what we wanted. I'm not gonna call this person that we went in the dressing room. She know who she is. Went in the dressing room. We put on the clothes that we were trying on. Then we put our clothes back over those clothes. And we walked out the store. That was my first time stealing out a store, you guys. And just the rush from it was so freaking funny however i do know it was wrong yes we know it's wrong yes we know we shouldn't have did that but that was a good time old memories are a good time even the bad ones i praise god for the good ones and the bad ones because those were a learning point for me because when i got older everything that i have done my good and my bad I talk to my children about and I have them where they don't make these same mistakes. Their life can be so much easier. Like you would tell your children, go to college, finish school. I did those same things and now I'm putting it on my children. So you don't want to tell your kids to go to school and you haven't finished school. You don't want to tell your kids, don't steal. And you over here hitting while the world look just coming out with a load of stuff. You don't want to tell your children, hey, stop smoking weed, stop popping pills, and you over here smoking perk with your best friend and tune it up. You don't want to tell your children these things, and you're doing them yourself. That's contradicting. That's a hypocrite, and I don't like, I dislike hypocrites. I'm very strong on hypocrites. I will totally pull myself away from you. I don't like uh, hypocrites. I don't like people that are lecturing out to others and they're not doing the same thing. How can you preach to someone else and you're not positive yourself? You need to. We ain't going to go there today. We ain't going to go there this morning. 
we gonna put a lid on it but that was just something that um came to mind to me so let's continue so this is gonna conclude this presentation for this morning um, I'm going to stop here because I don't want to go into the next section. I will save that for Monday. You guys, I love you all. I am really appreciating all the feedback you guys are giving me throughout my videos. You guys are really interacting with me and that is so awesome. Thumbs up for you guys. I love you guys. Stay blessed. I appreciate you guys. As soon as you guys come to me, I try to make sure that I return the love back because I do not want to get so behind on this and try to keep it in rotation. You always want to try to keep your audience in rotation because you do not want to lose your audience. And you guys are my audience. You guys are my family. You guys are my sister, my brother, my cousin, my auntie, my uncle, all of that. We are connected through Christ in so many ways you guys do not understand. That's why we have to continue to preach the words, uh, letting people know God loves you. I love you through Christ. All of these things so we can endure and have a prosperous life together. Reunite together. It is so much going on in the world, in the industry, in society, in the community, everywhere throughout the universe. And I don't want those negative vibes coming to me like this. Because once you hear it, do you know your ears, your throat, your eyes, your nose, this, all of this is connected. So soon as you see and you hear, it's here and it can come out here. With that being said, stay blessed and I will see you guys in the next video. Same time, same place. Bye-bye. Have a great Friday. Love you guys.